Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB here coming to you with a brand new how to transform video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transform the 2007 Deluxe Class Autobot Landmine and the Deluxe Class Decepticon Stockade. Now, both of these characters are from the 2007 movie toy line. Unfortunately, neither one of these characters ever uh, actually appeared in the movies. However, I think it's kind of obvious um, that uh, there were a couple spots where we got some nods to what these toys became. Um, the first, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will notice right away, the symbol right here on Landmine's side. Yes, that is what you think it is, and that is the Sector 7 insignia. Landmine has that on the hood of his car, and Stockade has that on the side of his car. Both of these are the vehicles that you saw in Sector 7. Uh, obviously, the um, uh, I don't remember if that's a Ford Explorer or a Chevy Suburban. That was uh, used by eight, uh, Sector 7 agent uh, Seymour Simmons when he picked up Sam and Michaela from Sam's house. And then the dune buggy uh, landmine, you will see, you will notice that uh, obviously they were, they were parked inside sector seven. They were, they drove out of sector seven with them and they led, there were a couple that were destroyed in the, in the battle, uh, in the battle against the Decepticons in the city. But anyway, so get back on topic. Um, so you will notice that with Landmine, he obviously is a dune buggy. Uh, he's got the he's got the uh, cannon mounted on the top of him. He's got the Autobot symbol right there. He's even got the 52 that was on the uh, dune buggy that we saw in the movie. Uh, he's got the unit 626-534 um, with the American flag right there. He's got a couple of fuel canisters built into the back just like that. And then, of course, with Stockade, obviously, he's a Sector 7 SUV. He's got this, the emblem right there. He can open the back of his car. He's got the Decepticon symbol right there where the uh, emblem for the car is. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty pretty scratched off of there. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to jump right into the transformation with these two because I really want to get these two going. So for right now, we're just going to move Stockade off of the side, and we're going to bring Landmine in. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys about this, this is actually the first Autobot that I bought from Toys R Us when the movie toys started coming out. Uh, my other video where I did Salvage and Longarm, Salvage was actually the second Autobot I bought, and then the third one was actually Bumblebee himself. So my first three Autobots were Landmine, Salvage, and Bumblebee for the for the live action movie toy lines. I still have all three of those ones. And man, uh, yeah, I bought those, I bought all three of them about a month before the first movie came out and they have seen a lot of play. <laughs> anyway, so for Landmine, uh, a couple of details that he has, obviously he's got the 52, the S, the Sector 7 emblem. He's got the little, uh, he's got the unit code right there. Autobot symbol on the hood. The one thing I've always loved about this, if you look right underneath here, you will see he's got shocks. He has shocks for his vehicle mode. I have never owned a transformer that has working shocks. And um, you'll see that there is a spring in there, but that is actually not part of the shocks. But yeah, all four of these wheels have shocks built into them, which I think is actually really cool. And they still work too. Um, but for... Anyway, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and take his gun off. We're going to be using that later. Now he just looks kind of bare. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come around to the back of him and we're going to flip up the uh, bumper for his for his uh, vehicle mode. Now, this part, sometimes these parts stick. I'm sure they don't stick on all of them. But if you take these wheels and you push in, it will actually release both sides of his vehicle mode. So we'll turn him like this, and we're going to go ahead and flip that out. This is going to become his shoulder. We're going to go ahead and flip out where his elbow will be and flip out where his wrist will be. Go ahead and bring this out too. And elbow. And we'll go ahead and give that a turn and then flip out his wrist. Now what's interesting, his seats actually are his hands. 
So the headrest is actually his thumb. I honestly think that's actually pretty, actually pretty cool that they did that. And what we'll do is obviously we'll fold in the thumb a little bit and then we'll flip out the seat itself and that will actually become his fingers. And now he has his fist. So we'll go ahead and flip that out and we'll go ahead and flip that out on the other side, just like that. Flip in the thumb a little bit and fold his hand in just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're gonna grab this whole section and we're just gonna flip it out. As you do, straighten that canister and then bring it all the way out because what we're gonna do is, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come under here. Uh, there's a better view of the shocks for his vehicle mode right there. Just hook, uh, hook to the wheel, just like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these wheels and we're gonna move them in. And then you'll see that there's a little housing right there, a little pin right there. Go ahead and pop those in just like that. And we'll come right here, we'll do the same thing. Flip that in, pop that up. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull his legs apart. They're on a couple of pins. They can be a little stubborn. I have to be careful because of how old this guy is. There we go. So we've got the uh, pin there and the pin there that hold that together. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fold the other foot down. And there we already have Landmine's legs. And he does actually have a knee joint, which I think is pretty cool. So you can put him in a uh, pretty neat uh, pose uh, sitting up there with the rest of the Autobots. And then what we'll do is we're gonna come up here. Now mine, I've always had trouble with his head popping off. Uh, it's not a pretty sight in my opinion, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring his arms down. Uh, that way his shoulders are free, are clear of these wheels. Then what we'll do is we're gonna come right here. We're gonna bring this whole section down and where this triangle shaped pin is, it will link right into that port right there. And that will, Pop it, uh, it'll actually make his shoulders pop up a little bit. And then you just pop that sucker into that, into that hole right there. Flip this panel back and then flip up his head. And there we have Landmine. Uh, like I said, this, this is the literally the first Autobot that I bought for the movie series. I have, oh man, I think he's probably been dropped several times. But the fact that he, he just, he keeps he keeps coming back for more is amazing. Uh, and then with his blaster, um, originally I thought you were supposed to be able to put the blaster in his hand. I actually found out you're not supposed to do that apparently. But if you want to, and I'll show you how to do this, it's actually pretty simple. Fold the blaster out so it's on this uh, on the little L the little L joint just like that. What we'll do is we'll come right here and we'll flip out his fingers, and we will. Take the blaster, we'll fold it into his hand. Now, the shells that are hanging off the side of it, put those on the outside of his hand, just like this. There we go, just like that. Fold that down below his arm, just like that, and then close his fingers. And now Landmine has his his uh, shoulder cannon, and he's, he's ready to go. Um... What I do like is that he he doesn't like necessarily have to like walk normally. He can actually roll on those wheels that are underneath his feet. Uh, similar to the ROTF Sideswipe, which is another figure I'll be doing as we progress through the uh, movie series. But anyway, so there we have Land Autobot Landmine ready to go. He is ready to fight alongside Optimus. So we're going to go ahead and move him off to the side. And now we're going to bring in Stockade. Now, like I said, Stockade's vehicle mode is either the Chevy Suburban or um, the Ford Explorer. I'm not entirely sure uh, what, what his vehicle mode is, but his transformation is actually pretty easy. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab the whole front section. We're going to fold it down just like that. And we're going to grab the uh, quarter panel where the, where the Sector 7 logo is. We're going to go ahead and fold that over the back wheels just like that. We're going to do that on both sides. The next thing we'll do is we'll flip up both panels uh, for the uh, back window of the vehicle. And then we're going to flip up the windshield, both panels, just like that, which will reveal his fists. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab right here and right here. And we're going to split that apart. And this whole, 
now, not only will his shoulder fold back, but this whole side section that we flipped back earlier will fold up behind him just like that. So bring his arm over and that whole section should fold just behind him just like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come right here and he does have an elbow joint, which is actually pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and fold out the elbows. And now what we'll do, is we're going to come down here. We're going to go ahead and grab the hood of the car and split it apart, flip it all the way around. And that will reveal his foot. Go ahead and fold his foot down and flip out his heel. And we'll come over here, flip the foot back or flip the, uh, front panel, the hood of the car all the way around, flip his heel down, flip his foot down. And there we have Stockade's body ready to go. Obviously he doesn't have a head just yet. And then simple, you can actually see his head kind of poking out right there. Just grab this whole section, flip up his head, it'll click into position. And there's, there is the Decepticon Stockade. And he does not look very friendly, does he? Uh, now, what I like is that he does actually have a power punch ability. And what you can do is you will see these gray panels, which are like the uh, cargo racks for his vehicle mode. If you pull back on them, his fist will actually shoot up out of his arm. It doesn't do much, but he still has a neat little uh, melee ability. And uh, both of his arms will actually do this. Uh, so it's kind of cool that despite not having any um, not having any firepower, he does actually have a, a, he does actually have a, an onboard an onboard weapon. But anyway, guys, so there we go. We have the 2007 uh, Auto uh, Deluxe Class Autobot Landmine and Decepticon Stockade from the first uh, live action Transformers movie. If you guys have any other trans any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do. Feel free to comment below, even hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell and I will do what I can to help you out as we go. Until then, bye.